hi welcome back to windows server 2022 installation we'll be installing it on vmware workstation as we installed earlier and if you want to get the copy of windows server 2022 so you can go to microsoft website i'll provide the link in the description all you need to do is just go to the website go to windows server 2022 it's the evaluation version of it. Simply click on download ISO and click continue, fill in your details and you'll be able to get the free version, evaluation version of 180 days for Windows Server 2022. So we'll be setting up a virtual machine using VMware Workstation. Uh, we'll create the virtual machine uh, going with the typical settings. Then we'll select the ISO file that we have downloaded already. Click next. Uh, we'll select the um, operating system as Windows Server 2019 because that, that's the latest one available on VMware Workstation. Press next and we'll change the directory of the Windows installation to any directory other than the C drive because we have seen that if we are creating a virtual machine in the C drive, sometimes it creates some problems. So let's rename it and press next. Uh, let's try to allocate uh, 40 gigs space and uh, let's try to have a virtual single disk press next and press finish uh, if you want to modify any of these settings you can simply right click on your virtual machine go to the settings of it and uh, you can increase the ram over here for example i'm going to increase it to uh, somewhere on about four gigs of ram and rest of the things will so let's power up our virtual machine for the first time. Press any key and it would start the installation of Windows. Now we'll press uh, next over here and we'll install Windows. Since we don't have the product key, so we'll press I don't have the product key. And uh, just hold here for a minute. You, you must be clear about these things, about different versions appearing over here. We have standard and data center. Now, as standard is limited to virtual machines. We cannot have lots of virtual machines installed on it, whereas the data center edition allows us to have multiple virtual machines running on this version of Windows. But uh, there would be different licensing terms for that. And then we have a desktop experience and a normal one. So if you want to have a desktop experience, meaning just like a regular Windows, not a command line interface, then you'll have to go for a desktop experience. Since we are installing it for the testing purposes, so we'll be going for standard edition and desktop experience. Press next. Just read the terms and conditions over here and then uh, click I accept and then you can continue since it's the first copy of the windows server 2022 that we are installing so there's no need to upgrade we'll simply go for the entire partition and we'll press next So now it's asking us to enter the password. So we will enter a complex password. Press finish. It's applying the computer settings and now it's asking us to enter the password. So we'll press this key and it would ask us to enter the password and So it's loading our profile for the first time.
RC overall interface. Okay, so the interface of Windows Server 2022 is uh, very much similar to 2019 so far. Let it load the server manager and then we'll see if there is any difference in that. As you can see that uh, it's pretty much the same and uh, still it's trying to load the services and if we'll click on tools and uh, we'll see the components and uh, the rest of the things are the same as it was there in the earlier version of uh, Windows Server the only difference I can see over here is uh, Microsoft Azure services has been added and uh, oh great as you can see that they have added the Microsoft Edge in this release of Windows Server 2022. That's great. So if we just open and showing the Azure services. Okay. And if we are trying to add any roles and features, let's try to see if there is any difference in that. Um, it looks pretty much the same for Active Directory, DHCP, DNS, and rest of the other services over here. Okay, so let's close this thing and uh, let's click start. Uh, the icons are a bit bigger that uh, you can see even they have included the control panel up here and uh, in this one all options are the same I don't see any major difference not even a minor one over here it's pretty much the same and uh, let's try to go to the settings of uh, this server and try to check uh, what's going on in this one everything is same let's go to update and security of course there would be some new updates which would be pending and if we'll go to windows security and check the security of it as you can see the antivirus firewall application and browser settings and device settings has been turned on by default so let's go to the settings of this one uh, virus and threat protection firewall and network protection application and browser control device security and protected history all has been enabled and you have further core isolation and things appearing in the device security so some new things are here which are quite interesting like reputation based protection and exploit protection etc and uh, we can go and check the settings so that's the difference that i can see in this release of uh, the windows server 2022 uh, rest of the things and its uh, main settings and uh, we'll try to check the system and then we'll go to about and uh, we can see it's uh, server 2022 standard edition and uh, rest of the things are almost the same as they were there in devices uh, nothing new here as well nothing new over here in accounts uh, it's just the accounts and ease of access etc so it's pretty much the same as the other versions of windows server 2019 once we'll put it into production like uh, having dhcp dns and active directory defined on this one only then we can see a major difference in the functionality of this release of windows server 2022 so that concludes our uh, tutorial for installation of Windows Server 2022 on uh, a virtual machine using VMware Workstation. So that's it for today. If you like the video, kindly like it and subscribe to the channel and kindly leave the comments so that uh, we can improve the videos in future. Thank you very much.